Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and uh, I got to tell you, I have had one heck of a weekend. I went to the NXL. I got I got a million things to tell everybody. Um, you know, I, I went there, uh, first of all, to see the World Cup, to have a good time with a lot of friends that, that ended up showing up there. Um, and uh, a lot of guys that competed, which my friends actually took first place, Dynasty. I'll talk about them in a little bit here. But I went there mostly for the young guns. Okay, they the, the young guns participated in the NXL this time uh, in their own division, obviously. Um, but they had 24 teams, 24 teams. There was a team from Hawaii. I'm going to bring Andy Stret on in a little while. Andy's uh, my guest tonight. We're going to talk a little bit about it. Tony Diaz, how you doing? Hey, you know, I got to say hi real quick. Bond chicks on right now. But Paul Farrell, Paul Farrell is usually the first person out on my show every week. Um, I can't, I, I, I don't know how he does it. I, I can't even tell him how much I appreciate it because I absolutely do. Um, but uh, we've got some stuff. I'm going to do a show December 20th. It's going to do a Christmas show. Okay. And uh, what's going on, Sam Moyers? Hope I pronounced it right, my friend. Anyhow, I'm going to do a Christmas show with David Justin. And uh, we're going to do a two-hour show, um, you know, Christmas, Hanukkah, uh, any religion you are, you're all welcome, period. You know, it's just uh, it's just going to be a fun show. And what we're doing is we're uh, taking, we have all kinds of people, uh, companies that have donated to us. So what we're going to do is during the show, we're going to pick certain uh, people that come on, certain viewers, Zach Armbuckle, Steve Presco. Well, I got to tell you, I love you guys, man. You're great. But anyhow, we're gonna we're gonna take some uh, of the viewers, people that are watching the Christmas show. That's on December twentieth, and we're gonna give away some pretty cool things, some pretty cool things. And uh, tonight, like I say, I got Andy Stret on, and Andy uh, collected just a, a ton of stuff. Uh, matter of fact, I think I sprained my back trying to carry the bag. He told me he gave me the light bag, but you know what? I think I screwed up. I didn't weigh him before I, I picked it up. But uh, I'm gonna go with Andy. Andy doesn't lie. I hope. But uh, anyhow, it was a lot of fun. I had a great time with him, and uh, we just we just had a, a terrific time, man. Steve Presco, I, you know, <laughs> I got to tell you, people, you guys are, are about the best that there is. Period. I just absolutely love it. I'm gonna go ahead. I got a couple things I want to uh, talk about here, real quick. Um, like I said tonight, I've got Andy Stratt on from Ellie Remember Foundation, and Andy's wife Tiffany wrote this book right here and uh she signed a copy for me where am i at here i don't want to bend i'm real touchy with when i get books i get the special books from people but she signed that right there for me and um i'm forever grateful for that this book is on amazon i don't push a lot of things on on this show um because you know it's not a a sales show, but I think this is something that I would like to to really help uh, Tiffany out in, in doing. I, if you get a chance, uh, go ahead and uh, purchase the book on Amazon. It's uh, all about her daughter uh, through domestic violence that was uh, murdered. And uh, you know, unless something like this happens to you, obviously you couldn't write with that type of feeling. So if you get a chance, you're going to want to uh, jump on Amazon, and and it's in other bookstores. We're gonna we're gonna have Andy on here in a few minutes, and uh, go ahead and jump on and get that. Um, but I, I want to tell you, Tiffany, I appreciate so much you giving me an autograph copy of that. I absolutely love it. And then I got to thank Tom Cole. Okay, I went down to the World Cup, the NXL, this last weekend. You know, Tommy's always telling me, Freddie, come on down, come on down. You know, you got to check out. Well, you know, it always conflicted with something I had going all the time. This year it didn't, almost didn't make it anyhow, because this year I decided to go and have a hurricane. I can't even tell you how many different flights I had to take to make this thing. Tracy Perez, uh, I'll talk about her in a little bit too. I got to finally meet this lady, very, very cool. You know, after two years of knowing her, I finally got to meet her, so I absolutely loved it. But I want to thank Tom Cole, um, he was most gracious. Uh, he said if I came down, he was going to take care of me. And Tom did exactly what he said. Tom Tom put together one, one terrific tournament. And I mean, uh, they had like 680 teams here. 
hello, 680 teams. Now you can imagine what that takes to, to all put together and the parking, you had to see the parking. There was like a gazillion cars there. It, I mean, the whole thing was just incredible and, and they did a terrific job, but I, I want to thank Tom Cole and I want to thank uh, all the staff from the NXL. They treated me with, I, they, I just, I don't even have words for it. They just made me feel so good, you know, with such respect they treated me. I absolutely loved it. And then I have to congratulate my friends. Now, everybody knows, you know, um, I'm a, I'm, I'm a dynasty fan, but you know, these guys are all my friends. These guys started on my field out here in California and dynasty won it. You know, I got Oliver white cloud Lang, Alex Frazier, Ryan Greenspan, Josh Rao, Eric Crandall from field one, you know, they, I mean, they took care of me when I got down there and I was so happy for them, but you got to watch these guys play. They play like a machine. They, um, do they deserve to win? Yes, they absolutely kicked butt. It was incredible. Now, I mentioned uh, the show I got with uh, David coming up here. Um, it's going to be December 20th. You're going to want to tune in because, I mean, I've got some great prizes. I've got e Gino from Belkin has donated five markers, uh, GI Sports, uh, Tank from, uh, I mean, just, uh, I got it all written down over here. I mean, John Tankersley, I, just everybody I, is is jumping in and donating some and what we're going to do is i'm going to pick out people that are actually watching the christmas show through the course of the christmas show and i'm going to start giving them some prizes it's christmas time it's present time and i give presents to people that i feel absolutely deserve it like andy and i'll talk about all the kids that uh, we gave presents to this last weekend and uh some of it was uh pretty darn incredible I absolutely love it um and I got some good upcoming shows. I got Bricktop. Now, you guys have heard of Bricktop. They got a, a, their show is on Wednesday afternoon, my time. I think it's later their time because they're back east. But I got to meet these guys out there. Uh, the, their two brothers, uh, they were, they're funny as heck. You're going to, when I have Bricktop on, you guys are going to want to tune in. I mean, these guys are like a comedy show. I had such a good time with them. I finally got to meet them. And, and it was absolutely crazy i mean we hit it off right off the bat so yeah you'll see like you know three crazy guys all at the same time so it'd be pretty funny man you're gonna want to check in the brick top and then uh ryan greenspan ryan's gonna come on the show he wants to come on the show and i want to go on his show so i want to get my shout outs real quick i'm gonna bring bill on real quick while i get my shout outs here because my buddy bill went out to his studio and he forgot to turn on the heater well, now, Bill is not in Southern Florida. Bill is not in Southern California. But Bill is up in cold Missouri. So anyhow, I see he has stopped shaking now. So I'm going to bring him on before. I, I You wouldn't even recognize him earlier. He looked like Nanook of the North. I mean, I put it on. I thought he gained like 400 pounds. And it wasn't. It was the 12 jackets he had on. So anyhow, uh, let me bring you out here real quick. Everybody, please welcome my little buddy, Mr. William Bailey. What's going on, Billy? Yeah. Wow, what happened here? Hold tight. There I we go. <laughs> yes. You were you were so funny when I turned it on earlier. Uh, you warming up now? It's warming up, but it needs to hurry. I don't. <laughs> oh, Dennis TB is watching us, and Kenny Stewart, yeah. and Karen. I got to finally meet Karen down there too. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, I'll, I'm going to talk a little about that in a, in a little bit. Karen actually had me on his podcast, and it was uh, it was pretty darn cool. Excellent. Had a good time. Yeah, you're gonna like this, Billy. But I want to give this shout outs real quick. Um, yep. Got to start with my buddy. Uh, probably, uh, I, I got to say, my best friend in paintball, and uh, probably one of the best friends I've ever had in my life. So you know, I'm probably just gonna go there with it. Um, Mr. Tim Schloss. <laughs> Tim, uh, he owns Gateway Paintball. Uh, he had Tiger Stripe Camouflage back in the day, and, and the Tiger Stripe Camouflage is gonna be coming back here. Uh, as soon as uh, they get the colors right, uh, Tim wants everything perfect. That's how Tim is. So it'll probably be, uh, you know, at the beginning of next year, and they'll be rocking. So uh, Tim Schloss, great, great guy. Um, he, he had the last tournament, the WCPL. What an event, Tom huh, Billy? It's very fun. It was. Did he? Did he? Did, did he build some great fields? Yes. He yeah, absolutely they, did. They were awesome. Yep. You know, I might even send, uh, we'll see what happens here. I might send Kieran, uh, 
a little invite tonight and put him on with us for a minute. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see you soon. Karen, you kind of hang tight there, my friend. And then I'm going to say hi to Dan and John Colby, Immortal Air, Air America back in the day, Immortal Air now, been my sponsors for 30 some years. Mr. Bud Orr. Now, Mr. Bud Orr was going to be with us tonight, but uh, Bud has the flu, so he's uh, he's coughing a little bit too much to be on tonight. But uh, I want him to know uh, that uh, I want him to get well, and uh, I appreciate it. Bud jumps on all the time with us. Oh, we got behind the mask media watching right now. If you guys, you know, I, I've talked about these guys before. If you get a chance, uh, Eugene and, and Dennis, uh, you guys are going to want to jump on and see that behind the mask. These are some good guys. Um, they're they're working really hard for the sport of paintball, and they're trying to bring up their uh, their viewership, like everybody does. You know, I mean, come on, you know. But these guys are good. The way, you know, they talk about some cool things, and uh, it, it, it's absolutely cool. You want you want to jump on if you get a chance and and check them out behind the mask media. Okay, so jump on their website, find out when they're going to be on, what's going on. Um, I tell you, I think they're on Wednesday, but I don't want to blow it. So. Um, Anyhow, check it, check it out. You're going to like them. Beyond the Mask Media. Okay, and Tony Diaz, prayers for healing, Mr. Budor. He'll heal, Tony. He's a tough old bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I watch him get the crap shot out of him, and he still jumps right <laughs> back up there. Isn't that right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I got to say, I know, hi. And I got to say hi to Tom K, Airgun Designs, Rainy and Juvie Boucher, Paintball news, uh, real quick, back in the day, paintball news, two times a month you go out to your field and you can pick up one of these newspapers, didn't cost a player a penny. Nope. Yep. And, and they were cool, Bill. Weren't they informative? Uh, it, it had everything going on. It had upcoming events, all yeah. kinds of advertisements for equipment that's coming out. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Where all the fields were located. Yep. Field and, I mean, it, and it was free. It, it was free. Was, picked them up. There were stacks of them laying there. Yeah, it, it, you know, it, the, the price Twice was right month, for me. The, right. the, the, the price was right for me. Yeah. The Rainy and Juvie Boucher, they did so much for the sport and uh, absolutely love those two. Randy Camilla, APG Magazine. Jerry Braun, Paintball Sports Magazine. Jerry uh, had Paintball Sports Magazine back in the day, and now he's got Paintball Sports. Yeah. The field in Newburgh, New York. It's absolutely cool. Mr. Ross Alexander. Ross was my very first marker sponsor. Uh, line SI, I still have my Bushmaster up here. Still absolutely love it. Jim Lively, two tournaments you wanted to do back in the day. You wanted to do Jim Lively's Masters, Jerry Brown's World Cup. It was like a family reunion. But I got to tell you, and when I get Andy on, we'll talk a little bit about uh, this uh, NXL, Tommy Cole's NXL down there in Florida. It was like a, a big time family reunion. I mean, there was thousands of people there. It was unbelievable. And my little buddies were down there, Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong. They were down there <laughs> along with uh, Graylance McDonald. Uh, they were all competing in the Young Guns. It was absolutely terrific. Mark Gong was there with his wife, Lily. Michael Baird was there. Um, the two coaches for the Hermans. Scott McDonald was there. Uh, just uh, it, it was just absolutely very, very cool. And I got the Gino from Velcom was there. And Gino, that's where he says, you know what, Freddie? He says, I want to be on that show on the 20th, and I also would like to uh, donate. So we donated five markers. Now, I don't know what kind they're going to be. I think they're going to be some paintball. I think it would be some airsoft because uh, he's big into that stuff right now, too. So yep. I think that's what's going to happen. But anyhow, I'm going to bring out a guy. He's not a bad guy. You know, I mean, it took me, what, two years to like him. But now that I have finally liked him, I I actually like this guy. And I had a lot of fun with him. He was a he was a kick in the pants to hang around with, and I'm looking forward to doing some more stuff with him. He runs a terrific organization called uh, Ellie Remember Foundation, and uh, it's for domestic violence. But you know, he doesn't stop there. Uh, he uh, what he did at the NXL for the Young Guns, I think, was absolutely terrific, and. Uh, you know, I got to walk around with him and I got to give the presence out. So, you know, he um, he honored me with that. But, you know, the real work was done by Andy and uh, he worked his butt off getting all these presents. And 
I work my butt off helping him carry him around because when he said I had two bags of stuff, the guy was not kidding me. He was amazing. So everybody, please welcome Mr. Andy Sturet. What's going on, Andy? Did somebody say, uh, mention Jim Lively? Yeah. Oh, I got <laughs> Hey, I got a bunch of those. Buddy. I got plaques. <laughs> You don't have the 1999 first place World Series championships. No, no, that I don't have. <laughs> How much that cost you? Um, a lot of money because you, know, you got to play the whole series all year long and then uh, go and win. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to tell you, Andy, I had a great time with you down why, there. Um, why does that top figure have a guy holding a bowling ball? A bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they made real trophies. Oh, man. He, yeah. he rolled you on that one, Andy. He rolled you on that one, man. <laughs> Behind the mask, guy says, Andy has a big heart. He's the best. So nah, right on. <laughs> yeah. Now he did, I had a good time with you down there. Um, you know, I was trying to, you know, trying to tell people when I got back here, you know, about the tournament. But, you know, it's kind of hard to, to see because, you know, I met you that night at Fridays, and then uh, we went out there the next morning at early 30 for this kid. And uh, we got out there, and you were telling me, oh, yeah, it's a pretty good size. I was blown away when we got there, man. That had to have been the most populated World Cup I've ever been to, and definitely within the last 10 years. Uh, uh, there's like, the like four or 5,000 players alone without just the people hanging out, and there was thousands yeah. of people there. Well, Tom was having parking problems all morning long on Saturday. I was like, I've never seen him out in the parking lot as a parking lot attendant. He was. He was out there directing. And, you know, they, they had, at one time, they had three sheriffs and two police cars out there directing traffic. As a matter oh, yeah. of fact, when we left, you couldn't even take a left going out of there. You had to take a right. And Andy, I, I was following Andy, so I wouldn't get lost. And uh, Andy almost ran me out of gas. He took me all the way to Disney World before we made a U-turn and goes, come back around. Yeah. Well, it's because the, you can turn around right there by the field, but it's actually, it's marked no U-turn. And that's usually where we go up when that happens and turn around. But then the other sheriff was sitting right there. By the accident, like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, ah, do I, do I whip it around right here? Or do we just take a trip up to Disney World? <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't have that problem if they'd hire Ross Alexander and Bud to direct traffic down there. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. Well, we're, 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 <laughs> ah. direction was perfect in St. Louis, Bill. Don't be knocking on butt. There yeah. you go. You let everybody <laughs> park. In there. I'm just saying, if they would have had them two in the parking lot, they could have got everybody parked just fine. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bill. I, all kidding, all kidding aside, who do you think there was a couple thousand cars there? Yeah, uh, there had to have been more than a couple thousand. I yeah, there had to be more than a couple thousand. Before. Yeah, it was uh, absolutely amazing. Hmm. And San Gumby's watching us right now. Keith Kissel's watching us. Tracy Perez, Bonchick, Karen's watching us, man. And I, you know, Andy, Andy and I did a little uh, podcast uh, when we got done with the tournament because I was beat. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> I beat's not even a word. But then I, um, I did a little podcast with Karen, and uh, it was pretty cool. He's watching right now, Andy. Oh, he's stalking us. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Hi, Karen. I should have just had him come over. Well, you know, you know, he lives I, five minutes away from me. I was thinking about popping him on maybe uh, in a few minutes. And oh, yeah. On. And he's huh? going to be getting a doorbell ring here in a minute. <laughs> oh, he knows where I live. <laughs> Hear that, Karen? Just run down to Andy's. Bill, you can actually run to Tom's because Tom is just a block <laughs> around from so leave his leave his house. He has to go by Tom's house. But Tom's oh, actually at a concert last or tonight, so don't go there, Karen. Tom's yeah, not yeah. home. Yeah, Karen, hang on, hang on. We might we might send you an invite here in a little bit. And uh, Andy's talking about Tom. Tom is the guy that uh, worked really really hard. One of the coaches uh, mm -hmm. for the teams that uh, Andy had taken there. And Tom's just a great guy. He really, really is easy going, a um, lot of fun. Sometimes loves tacos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you love tacos. You're my kind of guy already, man. <laughs> well, you know we have to heat us four nights out of the out of our five day trip there. So yeah, yeah, I know you you heated pretty good. 
Well, I got to tell you, Andy, you know, um, you made you made an awful lot of kids happy. Uh, we had a pretty good time. I, I sent Kat an invite. She's having problems with her computer, but I was going to try to put Kat on tonight. Oh, yeah, and, definitely. Uh, Kat, Kat Hazelwood. Yeah, I might do that. Kat Hazelwood, um, she's a photographer up in uh, Canada, and she came down for the the event. And uh, it was funny. I She was taking pictures of the young kids, and Andy and I walk up there, and I, I told her, I says, uh, I go, excuse me, don't I know you? And she turned around, and she started crying. You can ask Andy. Andy's right here. Yep. She, she started crying. She was just flipping out. And Andy and I are looking at each other. <laughs> I didn't know what to say to her after that. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> and Andy, and, and you know, and, put on his deodorant at first. Yeah. And, 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 and Andy, I realized Andy, that wasn't it. Andy breaks the ice. He goes, hey, are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> that was funny. But, yeah, she was a great. Great girl. I was so happy to meet her, and she was uh, obviously pretty happy to meet me. So, but you know, Andy, I can't even begin to tell you. I am Andy collected so much stuff, and we went around and we talked to the kids and and gave stuff to the kids. And what do you think those kids? You think they're going to remember that? That I think was the experience of a lifetime. Not not just playing the event. A lot of those, the uh, majority because we did have some free agent teams. So I'd say 20 of those teams, easy, 22 of them, uh, worked their little butts off for months and months and months to, to come there and showcase their talents, right? Yep. And so the excitement for them was, I, I can't even explain it. Uh, they don't make yeah. work for it. But then you take somebody like you that, you know, granted, they didn't really know who Fred was, Um and of course, you know, they're, they're younger kids. They're not all up on the history of paintball and right. how it all started. And, you know, people like Bill and, and Bud and Dan and everybody on the band. They know me now. <laughs> they know you. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> I, I was having to explain to a lot of them, I'm like, you guys don't know who this is, but this is a paintball hall of famer that made kind of made tournament paintball what it is and everything and promoted it. And they're like, you know, ooh, ooh, you know, hall of famer type thing. And then there's Fred just reaching into a bag, just pulling out stuff like, here you go, here you go, here you go. Although he was cheating at the chip challenge because he was supposed to be asking paintball history questions. He started throwing out easy ones. And I was like, oh, well, I can't stop him. Yeah, they, they, yeah the, the problem is some of these kids, even the easy ones, they were like, uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. But, you, I mean, there was teams built – they had a team that came from Hawaii and yeah. they missed, they, they, they canceled all of their flights and they did the same thing I did. They went and got tickets on another airline, spent the extra money to get there and got there anyhow to do it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was, it was like a soap opera watching everybody on Facebook. It was like, oh, oh. Jesus. you know, <laughs> it was watching everybody. It was like, God. Well, mm. yeah. You know, I, I mean, I had a perfect flight all the way there. Uh, with United, and they call up Thursday morning and go, uh, we canceled your flight. I go, you canceled my flight? I says, I, I take off tonight. I don't even get there till the morning. I said, the hurricane's going to be gone by then. They go, well, we canceled all the flights. And I go, well, put me into um, Tampa then. They go, oh, we can't. We can't go into Tampa. So anyhow, I, I go to American Airlines, and I get another ticket. And uh, I, I like direct flights, and I like nice seats. But obviously, I couldn't get either one of those on Americans. So I fly into Chicago, I get into Chicago and I go over to catch my next plane. And they go, this plane, you were going to be here. So we have to cancel this plane. You got to go to the plane on the other side of this. The Oh, we lost Andy. Yeah. You got to go to the plane on the other side of the terminal, which is a hundred miles away. So all of us run all the way down to the other side of the terminal. We get there and the plane that's there is still loading the people to go to Denver. So anyhow, so we all sit down. They load the people to go to Denver. And the plane, they shut the door, and the plane sits there for 25 minutes. Something had happened. They couldn't pull back away from the thing. So about a half hour later, they pull back away from the, the gate and take off. Now we're waiting for our plane to go to Jacksonville. I couldn't fly into any. I had to drive to Jacksonville. I go to Jacksonville and drive three hours to get down there. So anyhow, so I'm waiting for my plane to go to Jacksonville. And pretty soon, here comes a mule pulling our train. It's not even flying right now. They're bringing it up with a car. 
So they bring it up. They load us all on there finally. We're thinking, oh, thank God we're out of here. They fire up the plane. They back it out. They pull up to the runway and they stop. And we're sitting. All these other planes are passing us to go to take off. And we're sitting. And I'm going, what's going on now? And the pilot comes over and goes, well, seeing that we had to change planes, we didn't file a flight pattern for this plane. So we have to wait so we can file the flight pattern with the FAA for this particular plane because our flight pattern was for the plane that we couldn't use. So I'm like, uh, so we sat there watching other people take off for another 20 minutes until we finally got to take off. It was amazing. Yeah. Hey, you're back. <laughs> it's all good. No problem. Yeah, I, was, I was just the, uh... telling about the, the plane experience I had. And then I get there, you got all those people. I, I was supposed to be there at 530. I finally, I was supposed to arrive in Jacksonville at 11 and 30 in the morning. And then I was going to drive down to Orlando. I arrive in Jacksonville at three something. I get out of the airport about 3.30. I finally get down to where Andy and them are about what? Seven o'clock I showed up or something like that. Yeah, it was about seven. Uh, it was just one of them things. I got to tell you, it was, uh, it was a good one though. It was, I drive. It's what made them. <laughs> the world. Oh, you're freezing up, Andy. Uh, you're doing I'll better go. now. Hey, right. You're uh, freezing up again. Drive. You okay? You're freezing up. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but you you keep freezing up yeah, and you're, you're, you're lagging right now. Yeah, it's perfect over here. Can you hear him, Bill? Yeah, I can hear fine. Yeah, now you're yeah. fine. Yeah, you're freezing up for a minute there. Yeah. But, you know, some of them young guns, you know, the, the, I mentioned a team from Hawaii. But, you know, there was guys, there was kids that came from the Philippines. There was kids that came from all around the world to to play in the kids division in that. It was unreal. Yeah. You know, there was one and, mom that drove her kid from California, right? Yep, because she couldn't, they canceled her flight. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And she she was on the internet and she goes, I've been saving these five dollar bills for almost a year. She goes, I got seven hundred and fifty dollars worth of five dollar bills, and I hope that gets us to Orlando and back for gas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going all right. This much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as long as she gets out of California, it's reasonable. <laughs> yeah, right. really. Yeah, it's funny. I, I get there, you know, the gas is like three fifty. Jeez, out here I see, you know, a lady pulls up to pump number three and she gets ten bucks for it. And I was wondering if she's just going to pump number four because for ten bucks for it, you can't get nothing out here, man. You know, <laughs> jeez, unreal. But it, it was. Uh, what do you think of some of the teams and what do you think of the play, Andy? God, those kids were rocking, man. Oh. There are some kids in there that uh, have some major talent. That's probably an understatement yep. uh, with it because I'm still collecting like the uh, kill counts for the Golden Barrel Award. Uh -huh. um, I've got some of them that are like 17 kills. Wow. Which is just like, wow. You know, that's, that's amazing. And, and some of the play we saw with the rundowns and, and the movements and everything. And they, they don't even know that there's some pro teams over there uh, scouting players at right. that, uh, for some combines and stuff. So, yeah, yep. they, they were noticed um, as far as that goes. And all of them played well. Um, you know, I loved watching the, the little, like our team, we had some really short, you know, little, you know, younger kids that right. can just run around through the bunkers and, you, damn, you can't see where they're going. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly. a huge advantage, right? <laughs> like, it, it is. That's where Mark Long Jr. always played good, you know. And then uh, Nico Podesta, you know, that little guy yeah. can play paintball too. But you know, they sent three West Coast teams out there. I think they ended up fifth, eighth, and eleventh. But the talent that they faced, it, it blew me away. It did. I I sat there with Frank and Jennifer Montressor watching these kids. We just had some chairs and we kicked back and watched them. These kids were absolutely rocking, unreal. Oh, that explains why I still have 
some of the swag in the bag. You didn't get it all passed out. Okay, you were sitting there watching. Just for a few minutes. I, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, right. that, that's Slacker. nothing, you know. I, 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 I'm over talking to Oliver, Oliver Lang, right? Yeah. And I, and Oliver goes, I, I told him, I said, well, I'm come back and watch you play 11. He goes, oh, right on, man. I said, I got to take off for a while. He goes, well, I'm, come and watch me play at 11. He goes, but then he should be back here at 3. He says, I want to talk to you about some stuff. I go, all right. Well, I'm sitting over there with Frank and Jennifer, and I go, hey, what time is it? And she goes, oh, it's five minutes to four. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> no. I, and, and we hooked up anyhow, though. It was uh, it was pretty good. Matter of fact, they were uh, signing autographs. You had to see the line. They had signing autographs. But the line going into the Hermesis tent was absolutely incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh man, they were doing a uh, banner banner business. It it was very very cool. Yeah, I'm happy for those guys. They they've been my friends for a long time, and uh, I just absolutely love them. They they play like a machine. That's all I can say about that. But yep. so did some of these kids. You know, the team that won. Some of those kids they played like a machine too, Andy. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, infamous kids, and then our own destiny. You know, taking up second place. Yep. Yeah, it was just, uh, you, you have to see him play to appreciate it. It was uh, absolutely very, very cool. Well, they never and, gave uh, up, too. I mean, I saw, you know, kids taking, you know, diggers and, and uh, face planting and, and filling barrels full of, you know, sod and <laughs> rolling off and getting up and keep going to their bunkers. You know, they get shot up after the fact because they, you know, still had a bunch of mud stuck in the barrel. But, um, you know, just this, the heart that we witnessed um out of all of them and you know even even ones that weren't doing so well right because you know paintballs in any given day and any team's gonna win but you know they none of them ever gave up no just more than i can say for what i've seen on adult teams they just yeah. kept going for it going for it and even if they were losing they were still out there to have fun and play and no griping no griping about it you know i mean were there some did some of the kids feel bad about losing yeah you know i mean yeah, if, if you're happy about losing you know something's wrong with you i every time i lost you know i it made me feel bad but i just figured i just got beaten i would always go think you know congratulate the other team because they won and i've seen a lot of these kids doing that too i i thought pretty that much that was... every game they were coming out shaking hands yep um which you don't see with all the adult teams which re really should happen because oh, yeah, i know absolutely. even I was standing there with tom and he was like oh he, i think i distracted him or you distracted him when we were standing there talking and he, he turned around and he was like oh my god i gotta go make sure the kids shake hands and they come walking back up i don't know if you heard him but uh, one of them was like, no, we already did that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> you didn't have to cool. tell them. They already went and did it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was very cool. Cause you know, that's, they're the future of paintball. That's all there is to it, you know, and, and you want the attitudes, you know, because there, there's a lot of adults there that had great attitudes also, mm -hmm. you know, I, and I, you know, I hate to keep mentioning dynasty because, you know, they are my friends and they are the best team in the world, period. But these guys off the field, are just some of the nicest guys you'll ever want to meet. They, I mean, they are friendly. They are thoughtful to the other players. They're thoughtful to people that come to see them play. It was just uh, absolutely great. And uh, well, definitely, I, yeah, yeah. And I got to see some and meet some cool people. We had our yoga girl there. Oh, Jody. Yep. Jody. Yeah. She, she was. Oh man, she is just uh i mean her energy i was getting tired watching her <laughs> you know? oh my God. Was, uh, did you hear what we did to her no at the end of the you know because it was sunday night she uh i've known jody for a while and we we finally got into the cars you remember the line that it took to get out getting out of world cup was just as bad as getting in yep. every morning because the amount of traffic it was like leaving leaving a, a football game in the NFL type of that bad and packed, but she was sitting there uh, right by the exit and she had her chair and her little tent, you know, she'd been using all day. And I, I saw her cause she was sitting down. I stopped the car, pulled over. Tom's looking at me like, what are you doing? I jumped out. I'm like, what are you doing, Jody? She's like, I'm trying to wait for this Uber. I've been waiting 40 minutes. I was like, get in the car. She's like, no, no, you don't have any room. I popped the trunk open, started rearranging stuff, slamming stuff in there. We had uh, you know Connor and, and and Karen were in the back right. seat. I'm like, scoot over, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Throw her easy up. 
across their laps. I throw a massage fold up chair thing in the back seat across their laps. I'm like, slide on in. She gets in because we're right there by the end. We take off, get out, go up and make the turnaround because the, the sheriff's deputy wasn't there, Bill. Went back yeah. around, go to the house and uh, get over there. And she redirected her Uber. We we're like, no, you need to go to dinner and everything. She's like, I got to get home to Matt. I know her son. I was like, all right, fine. So the Uber guy pulls up. We get everything out of the car, load it into his car. We're like, there you go. I hand the uh, driver a $50 bill. I was like, you make damn sure she makes it home or I will hunt you down. Um, he's like, nope, I got it, boss. You know, off they went to the home. So, it's, oh, Very it's, cool. Hey, it's you know, so cool that, you know, you just you got to take care of the paintball family like that. Yeah, well, you know, and, and the same way with Tracy Perez. You know, I've talked to Tracy Perez and, you know, Bill and I did the fundraiser for her. Yeah. What was that, Bill? That was almost two years ago now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I had never got to meet, you know, real quick, Bill, I had Bill on my show for a year before I got to shake his hand. I mean, all I would see is him like I see him now, <laughs> you know, and that was it. So when I finally got to meet Bill, I thought that was cool as heck too, man. But, you know, uh, Tracy, I, I got to meet Tracy finally face to face and uh, it was absolutely terrific. I just... Um, I she's could not wait lady. to meet that lady. Oh, she's a great lady. Oh, I, love I didn't her. see her, which sucked. So, sorry, Tracy, I didn't see it. Cup. I she said something about hiding from you, but I, I'm not sure how that. Probably went. right. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you know, hey, I took your hug for you, though. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Matter, <laughs> matter of fact, I think she was trying to shake me off. <laughs> <laughs> but I could not wait to see her. Yeah, but she was. It was so cool, and I, I got to see so many. So many cool people there. I just, uh, it was absolutely worth going down and, and hanging out with you, Andy, was, uh, that was a treat. I had a good time with you. Um, you're a little crazy. I like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't I, keep up. That was the problem, Bill. <laughs> well, it's because you gave me the heavy damn bag. No, I didn't. I gave you yeah, the light you, bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gave me a light bag, yeah. yeah well, anyhow. I we, told we you there was it. over 50 pounds of stuff in those bags, and I tried to kind of make them equal. But you insisted on carrying it because I'm like, we got this. You're like, no, give me a bag. I'm like, you sure? You're like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I had to feel manly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, but the, the truth, Bill, is, is that what we got done? He was like, next year if we do this, we're getting a golf cart. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, all the guesswork. Guesswork was totally oh, taken man. out of it. Yep, yep. The, yeah, I, everybody I mean, on the band says that. Well, we need a golf cart next time. We need. I, I get a golf cart though. When I go to New York, <laughs> I get a golf cart. Well, now when I go to Orlando, Freddie will have a golf cart. So Andy, can we, Andy will get the prizes, and Andy and I will cruise in the cart this time, man. But uh, you know what we did is we, you know, we we were giving stuff to players, but then what we started doing is. Um, we started concentrating on the guys that were losing, um, you know, guys that were getting put out of it because, you know, they, you could see that they were, they, they were gracious about it, but you could see it hurts because, you know, it hurts anytime you lose. Come on, God. Real simple. Every time man. the band plays, every time the band plays. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. Good seeing you, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> hey wait i'm on there playing so i know the pain i'm right there with you i know <laughs> but we're having fun yeah that's all you know that's the whole ticket of the band you know i i think tim schloss is the only one you know he, he, tim every time we go to one of these tim's like oh, oh freddie hey this is ours this time we got this one. Oh, oh, oh yeah we got this one you know and i'm like okay tim relax relax you know? <laughs> I, I just go for the food <laughs> that too. And I would bill. <laughs> yeah, the band, you know, the band is uh I, I I can't say enough about the members of the band, you know. We handpick all of these guys. We don't let just anybody in on this team because it's all about promotion of the sport. It's all about attitude, you know. I mean, do some of the guys on the band play good? Absolutely, you know, but uh all ten of us, no, nah, not really, you know. But what we do is we have a good time. And we promote paintball, you know, and uh, to me, that's a win right off the bat, period. If we're promoting the sport as much as we say we love it, yeah. we're doing we're doing our job and having a great time. And now next year, 
we are now putting together the band girls because uh, we want a band girls team. And it's going to be run by Tony Rudick and uh, uh, Elaine Gee. Ellen Gee is going to be, the, I believe, the co-captain. And we have got some great people that, uh, great ladies that want to join this now that uh, were with other teams and are looking forward to uh, coming and playing with the band girls. So that's something we're looking forward to, too. And uh, they're going to also help promote paintball. And the guys will back the girls and the girls will back the guys teams. And I think we're just going to double our fun. What do you think, Andy? I think so. Yeah, Bill, what do you think, man? Bill's too yeah. busy on the walk. He doesn't have time. He's got to be no. like yeah. third. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you in New York, did you see that walk he had? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. He was out there. Oh, God. Cooking up a storm. Yeah, yeah you did pretty good, yeah. Bill. What's that? I like it. It's good chow. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, really, I haven't heard anything you dislike. <laughs> That's true. Oh, yeah. I don't like cold. Oh, yeah. Cold yeah, he, yeah, he, he turns on his, uh, he, I turned the camera on earlier, Andy, and he's out there. He forgot to turn the heater on in his studio out there. It's <laughs> 40 degrees. Yeah. He's all bundled up. <laughs> he's sitting there like that. He's got all his hat and everything on. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel bad bill you know because we got back last night from cup so i wasn't thinking i come in eat you know I'll kiss the wife all that go to bed wake up this morning to you know slick roads thousands of accidents all over town <laughs> snow everywhere and i was like what the hell because <laughs> we just yeah. left florida it's like wait yeah. a minute, uh, i should have watched the news i'm gonna be late to work now <laughs> yeah that sucked it was uh it only got up i think to 74 here today so I was used to the 80s down there, but I had a sweatshirt on, so I was good all day. What the hell? We played Saturday, and everybody's like, why is the paint breaking? I was like, because it's 28 degrees, and we're not <laughs> using winter formula paint. <laughs> Does that matter? Yeah. <laughs> it, it matters, yeah. God. You Stick know what? Add warmer in your hopper. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Andy, I, talk, I talked about Tiffany's book earlier, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I will show it one more time. I tell everybody, I usually don't advertise nothing on this show. I, I, I try not to do that, you know. Um, but this I am definitely doing. And uh, if you get a chance now, I told everybody. Matter of fact, let me show him you his beautiful <laughs> wife here. There she is. There she is. My camera's not that good close. <laughs> that's why I stay back. Yeah, no. yeah, that's why he stays at the back. <laughs> that doesn't even help, Fred. I know it doesn't. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, Bill. You're welcome. <laughs> I just want to say something tonight. You know, I'm usually quiet. You know, so I thought oh, my moment's glory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it when you jump in. Yeah, bye, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Um, Andy, can you send Karen uh, an invite to the show real quick? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I, I, let's see if he can. Uh, cannot wait to be on the show. So excited. Hold on. All right, Karen. Karen. That invite's coming, buddy. Be ready. Hold your horses, son. And I thought okay. I heard somebody giggling and screaming. <clears throat> and, 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 I was hoping I was going to hear your doorbell ring. I was going to start laughing. <laughs> He knows where I live, though, trust me. He comes over a lot, so, you know, that's what we do. We take care of our little Karen. There you go. Yeah, hold on, Karen. Let me just copy it right now, and I'll send it over. Yeah, I could do it, but I don't know if I could. If I had to click you guys off or how that works. Nah, I got you, boss. Yeah, I usually have Bill do that stuff, so <clears throat> oh. that way I don't get messed up. You okay, Bill? Yeah, I'm just coughing now. He's got the laughing. Yeah. And you see Karen doing a ding dong dash on Andy now, you know. <laughs> a ding dong dash. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him on, on calling. I'm calling. Okay, go do it. I was already getting that. Where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? When we were all arriving, because he was waiting for uh, Fred to get there, and then so then Fred, you know, show we if he gets there, shows that we dinner and all that. <laughs> oh, I go upstairs that- in the house, and I was like, "Come here, Fred, follow me." That was funny. Upstairs, I creep the door open and. Karen's, you know, and they're watching videos and doing his normal paintball, you know, social media thing. And I was like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm doing this. Check this out. And I was like, 
Oh, well, hey. Check uh, this out. I started messing with them, and Fred's <laughs> standing outside the door. I think we did this for like, what, two or three minutes. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, don't you think you should come out of your room now? <laughs> He's <laughs> like, what? He stands up. I was like, get over here. And all of a sudden, Fred pops in right behind me, and he was just like, Clear in the headlight, like, <laughs> oh my God, it's Fred Schultz in my room. <laughs> yeah. There, he's got the invite now. Okay, right on in, you think. So he, he's a good kid. I was, uh, and I got to be on his show, Bill. Yep. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, and Bill, you got a show tomorrow night, too, you and uh, um, Kenny. You and Kenny, yep. yep what, gonna... what are you talking about tomorrow night? It's going to be uh, old safety equipment. Oh, cool. Yep. Heck yeah. So, yeah, short yeah. show. Shop goggles. And, oh, there's, all kinds, there's all kinds of stuff, though. There's actually a lot of stuff. So it, it'll be interesting. And what time's the show, my friend? Uh, it's 8 o'clock uh, Central. So Central our time. time. So that'll be 6 o'clock your time. Karen said, do I just check my messages? Yep. Facebook yep. Messenger, Karen. Facebook Messenger. Yep. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he'll he'll jump on. I've had him on my show before, so uh, he got to get on, and I got to meet Karen's mom too. Very nice lady. Um, now you met I Parker's just, mom. What's that? That was Parker's mom at the uh, thing. Karen's mom was was back in Denver. Oh, I thought that was I thought that was his. No, his mom. Oh, okay. Are you yeah. kidding? His mom is is like, oh, World Cup. I get to get rid of him because all of you. <laughs> You guys get to go watch him for four days. Put him on that plane. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting uh, I'm getting these kind of things here now. Facebook user two, Facebook user three, Facebook user one. <laughs> Facebook Messenger, Karen, kick, click the link, not kick the link. Yeah. Oh, you know, he, he's, he's trying it. to get on. He yeah. Saw he, it. Huh? Give him a second, he saw the link. I got okay. him up right here. Okay, he's a he's a great guy. I've been wanting to meet him, and uh, Bill and I had him on his show before, and uh, he he was very good. He you know, um, no no sense asking what his favorite team is <laughs> because yeah. I guarantee it's Dynasty. Yeah, but he's got so much energy and stuff. Especially like when he's at Cup, he's running around talking to everybody. Yeah, he did. So. The so it came down to uh, Connor and Parker, and Tom said he enjoyed both of them overly more than normal because you know they're all here with us. But because both of them came up to us with the fear of of oh my God, I've just committed the ultimate sin look on their faces because they both <laughs> lost Karen <laughs> during oh, the cup because he takes <laughs> off, he kills and talks to people because that's what he does, and he yep. just if you don't. I was wanting to get him like one of those kid leashes with like the little monkey backpack that you can just hold on. <laughs> just in case he gets too far away, I could be like, come here, Darren. Um, but they both lost him and they were mortally in fear of everything. Like God was going to rain down upon him. But like, well, you better go find him. You know, they took off. But he did it to Connor again that night, Sunday night when we were leaving. And he's walking up and he's talking to all these people. And Connor figured out, hey, wait a minute. He goes up and talks to all these, you know, female players and stuff it's almost like having a puppy <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dennis Dennis said he hyped up the tennis cyclone something furious uh, yeah, yeah I got a video of him doing the uh, dynasty chat in the pits with them well you know I, that's nothing what he did was dynasty it was sitting down at a table and they they had pictures of him and people were lining up to get their autograph and Karen went and sat down at the table Started <laughs> that happened. Yeah. Come on, Karen, jump out, buddy. We only got 10 minutes left. Click the link. I want you to click the link. I want you to say hi to everybody. Connor's got a new wingman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Connor. Yeah. Connor's yeah. got a new wingman, Andy. That's basically what Connor figured out. He was like, well, if I, Karen just goes up and talks to him, then I can swoop in and be like, hey, I'm glad to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> I'm with like, him. Yeah. Whatever works. <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you, that was, uh, I, I had a terrific time. Um, 
I almost gave up after they canceled my flight. I almost said, screw it. I'm going to stay home, you know. But uh, I just no. decided, yeah, yeah, I mean, a weekend, geez, just to go down there. What was I there? A day and a half? Day and a half, yeah. Yeah, it's like 4,000 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, but it, it was worth every penny. I had a, a great time. Uh, I had a great time hanging out with you, Andy. Um, I, I thought we clicked pretty good down there. And, and plus, the places you go to eat are pretty good. I'm, I well, like your ear. Your... I take care of you because, you know, I was in the band chat said, don't worry, I'll feed him. Yeah, yeah. Let I like that. happen to him. We'll protect him. <laughs> well, I, I like your choice of restaurants, man. You, uh, you're pretty good. We we steered clear McDonald's all the time. So, oh yeah, yeah. I had to go find decent places to eat that weren't overly expensive that made good food. So I gotta tell you, I like that taco. What was that, Senor Taco? Senior Taco. Yeah, we went back there Sunday night too. Oh, great and food! I, I got the baked potatoes. Mm. Get this: we walked in there, we sat down, we had the same waitress. Really? And she's looking at me and Tom and Connor <laughs> like she's like. Where's the Groundhog other Day. <laughs> she's, 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 where's the other one? Oh, I'm afraid yeah. I have to go home. <laughs> where's the other one? <laughs> she's like, okay, well, what do you want to? What are you guys going to order? And Tom's like, well, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. She's like, chicken fajitas. <laughs> Did like, she really? Yes. Oh wow. <laughs> and a Pepsi. And he, yes. Uh... And she looks at Connor. And she's like, and she said what he had. But I hate to tell you this, but we're out of that. And Connor's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to do something different. I want chicken fajitas. And she looks over at me, and she's like, for a second, she was like, eh, steak fajitas and two margaritas. And I was like, damn, she just nailed the whole thing. Wow, interesting. Yeah, she was a good waitress that night, too. She took care of everything pretty good. I, I had to bake potatoes with uh, cheese and bacon bits on it. Oh, my God, it was good. That's because you were at the field munching on Philly cheesesteaks. I did. Up. I ate that. I got a I got a Philly cheesesteak there. I, I got to tell you, Billy, it was this big. I, I mean, it, it weighed about two and a half pounds. And I picked it up. It was just falling out everywhere. Real right, quick, everybody. I'm going to go fire up the grill. I'm going to go fire up my pan. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> this thing was so good with fried onions and peppers. I'm drilling now. Darn it. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I, we only got a few minutes left, but I want to bring on a friend of mine that put me on his podcast. I finally got to meet him face to face and had a terrific time with him. So please, everybody welcome Kieran Devin it, Johnson, isn't it? Kieran Johnson. Hey. What's going on, Kieran? Hey, oh. yes, you're wearing a Dynasty jersey. You uh, dang right. Rant, I guess. <laughs> you had it on all day. How yep. you doing, my friend? Very, very well. Just got home from the flight and uh, took a little nap and uh, ready to ready to roll next year, you know? Oh, yeah, me too. You know, I was really, really happy to meet you. I had a good time with you there. Oh, yeah, that was really fun, Fred. Yeah, and I, I appreciate so much you put me on your podcast. I, I enjoyed the heck out of that. I, I actually had to show it to my wife. We both sat and watched it. And I, I usually don't watch a lot. I don't ever watch my own podcast, but I actually watched the one with you. And my wife and I actually watched the one with Andy and I. And I don't usually do that a lot. So. That's cool. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody's doing all right? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're finally all caught up on our sleep, I think. So things are going a lot better. And uh, yeah. I just wanted you to jump on tonight. Uh, I hear Tony Diaz saying hi to you, too. I just wanted to, you to jump on tonight because I wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed finally meeting you after all this time that we've talked online and everything like that. Yeah. It was really fun meeting Fred, and he got to sign my Hormesis band. As you all know, I just joined San Diego Dynasty because they honored me with a jersey, and a, and I got to give them a hype-up speech before their actually preliminary match against, uh, I think it was Houston. I think it was, but whoever you are, whatever you do, play paintball. It's fun to do, you know. It's, it's, it's part of life for me out here. I mean, I spend hours and hours a day. And traveling to Dynamic and APC out here, doing my job, fulfilling my roles, you know, helping teams out when they needed it. And now I'm a member of San Diego Dynasty, one of the most legendary teams in all sports. So that makes it even better. You know, I earned it and I fought for it. You know, you did. You, did, you know what? You, you did earn it, my friend. I am very, very, very happy for you and uh, very, very happy I got to meet you. You know, I, I, this is just incredible, but uh, Karen, 
you you made a rap song about me. Would you mind doing it for my viewers <laughs> real quick? Oh, don't worry, guys. You guys go ahead. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. here we go again. Fred Schultz is number one in the industry, number one legacy, number one in the Hall of Fame. Inductee into the Hall of Fame. You already know what we play. We play paintball for a living, but Fred has been living longer than me. So guess what? He's the living legacy. There you go. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That that's yeah. a different one than the other one too. I I switched it up, you know, I had to do what I had to do. Shout out to my dynasty teammates, Yoshra, Alex, you know, Field One, my sponsor, and Pro DNA, Infamous Kids, all that. You guys, you guys did amazing at this tournament. We did we pulled out a hell of a lot of wins this tournament, didn't we? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You, you guys were rocking. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I mean, you're, you're on, pro, you're on the best team I think that I've ever seen. Um, yeah. These guys absolutely rock. And, and you're a, you're a pretty good team member. What about, yeah. What about, uh, well, we have to give them a little praise, Fred. Yeah. First I have to correct you, Karen. We only live 15 minutes from the field at dynamic. So if it's taking you hours to get there and I know you're not walking cause you're in my car. No, no party and somewhere else. <laughs> right, that's but that's where. Tell them about yeah. your your five pack. Oh, that! Oh, you guys are love. You guys are gonna love this. So, I was playing a five man with the Hormesis paintball team, which I'm I'm a part of Hormesis. So, of course, got a jersey and I got to play on the field and actually got a five pack from the snake side of the field all the way up to Dorito side. One of the guys wasn't even paying attention, and so I snuck up on him, shot him in the pack, and then just kept going on going. I fired, I fired like a lot of rounds through that marker. It's part of CS2. So, if you guys are 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 close, you know, you guys know that I love playing paintball and I love I love practicing that. But that five pack right there really, I think, submitted my growth in the sport in my two year, my one year gone. This is my second year in, so hopefully I can make a change and difference in the sport just like Fred and Andy do because they're great people to be around every single day, every waking hour of my life. I love these people to death. I wouldn't do anything else but play for the people I play for and for the legacy I play for. It's for you guys and you guys only. No one else is better than us. We're Very well players. said, my friend. Well, you know, Karen, um, again, I want to thank you so much for, for putting me on your podcast that night. I want to thank you so much for coming on here tonight. I want yeah. to invite you to have you back on again in a few weeks. I'd like to have, uh, have you come back on again, and and, oh, yeah. and I'll talk some more paintball. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to have Ryan on, and uh, you never know who else jumps on my show. Um, but I would uh, definitely enjoy having you come back on, and I appreciate oh, yeah. it. So I'm just going to say goodbye to everybody, my friend. All right. You guys have a safe travels, safe night. And remember, Dynasty is the number one team and always will be. Don't forget that legacy because I'm now the Dynasty legacy. Remember it. Good night. Right on. Take it easy, my friend. You too. All right. Go to bed. All right, everybody. It was Karen Johnson. A great kid. I'm, I'm so happy I got to meet him. I was looking forward to that. And, uh, I, I got to tell you, he, he's a good kid. I, I am very, very happy that I got to know him. I really am. Andy, I appreciate you coming on tonight. Can't Thanks even tell you how me. much I, I, I appreciate uh, the weekend with you. I, I had a great, great time. It was a little hectic, but, uh, you know, I live hectic. So I absolutely loved it. It was great. Well, you know, having you there, walking around, doing all that, and just watching these these kids and their parents too i don't know if you were catching it all because you were i got a lot of it. the bags and stuff but just just seeing the, the the faces and the responses out of people for doing that was just an honor and i was i was sweating bullets um when you were talking about your flight like oh my god is fred gonna make it is fred gonna make it like yeah. we don't have anybody else at this event that you know i'd rather have go hand out stuff than you so it's Thank you from the I bottom of my it. heart for sticking in it and, uh, you know, getting flights changed and going through all that hassle just to be there. So right. appreciated more than, you know, from all of us at the foundation and all of those kids. Yeah. Well, you know what? I got to tell you, um, I had a terrific time. I'm looking forward to doing a lot more with you here in the future. Um, you know, I want to, I'm, 
gonna really start. Hey, how do you like my shirt, by the way? I like it. Yeah, I thought you might. Um, I you got expendables, kids. Oh yeah. Oh, do ya? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> kids, yeah. Like don't this. you wish? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to doing a lot of stuff in the future here with the Ellie Remember Foundation, and with you personally, um, Andy. I think uh, you and I are going to link up for some uh, pretty good things here in the future, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I want to thank you so much for coming on tonight, and uh, I want to thank your wife again one more time for the autograph book. I absolutely love it. Bill, you got something to say, to Andy? Yeah, Andy, do you still have? Uh, do you still sell the Alley Remembered Foundation patches? Um, yes, as a matter of fact, I'm missing 400 patches that my uh, patch guy said were supposed to be delivered yesterday that I looked all over the house and I'm like, nope, they're not here. So I have to go yeah. deal with it. But yeah, we were supposed to get her before cup and they didn't. So somewhere in this neighborhood, somebody maybe porch pirated 400 alley remembered patches. <laughs> have fun with that. Yeah. We'll be <laughs> that our marketplace. Yeah, there you go. Well, when you get them, I want one of them. Uh, yeah, since, uh, you need I got to send your Hawaiian present anyways as soon as it gets here. Yeah, I was gonna. I I, I wanted to bring that up. I, I was gonna wait till we were oh, in yeah. the green room, but no, nah, no. Nah, they the kids from Hawaii gave me uh, uh, some things, you know, and then Andy tried to, to take them from me. He left them at the field. <laughs> he, goes, oh, 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 oh. he goes, I'll send them to you. Now I'm gonna get them. The boxes are gonna be open. <laughs> There's gonna be dirt in it or something. No, they're know. good. They're all <laughs> packed in with all the stuff that I UPS back to my house. So. Yeah, you had you had some stuff, man. That's for damn sure. Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. So, Dennis, said, great show, guys. So, Andy, I'm let's say good night to everybody. But I appreciate again so much you coming on. I appreciate so much for the last weekend. Looking forward to doing some stuff. Thank you for having me. And if you've got kids interested in getting into you know youth paintball, by all means, look me up, and I'll uh, get you with the right people. There you go. Same way here, too. Yeah, I think we can link them all up. Thanks again, Andy. Late. <laughs> See ya. All right, everybody, it's Mr. Andy Sturrett, uh, Ellie Remember Foundation. Um, I got to tell you, Billy, the guy went over and above. I, I was a absolutely happy to hang around with him. I, I'd have been happier if we'd had a golf cart. But, you know, <laughs> other than the golf cart, I was still happy. So, yeah. um, I think you the, guys, he kept going live like every – Three or four times a day, you know, the whole time he was down there, it's like, oh, gosh. Yeah, really? yeah. I am definitely going to have a golf mm -hmm. cart next time, though. Period. That's all there is to it. Um, you know, I felt sorry for Andy, you know, because she's getting old walking around and everything like that. So I, you know, I'm i going to use him as an excuse to get the golf cart, mm -hmm. but I'm going to tell Tommy, got to have a golf cart. I, I want to come down there, but I got to have a golf cart. So, yeah. all right, Billy, I wish you could have been there. Um, like I say, Andy and I just uh, had a great time. Not even at the field. I had a great time going out to eat with the guy, too. You know, it's just, oh, yeah. uh, it's just a comfortable feeling, something I, I enjoy an awful lot. So, yeah. All right, my friend. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everybody. Uh, see you tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Tell everybody, tell everybody what to look for. Well, it's a uh, night at the museum with, with Kenny and Bill. So, it's uh, we'll put it on Facebook and give everybody a heads up. There you go. All, All right. right. We'll be looking forward to it. 8 o'clock Central Time, 7 o'clock Pacific Time, 9 o'clock. No. no, 8 o'clock Central Time, isn't it? So it'll it's be 6 o'clock. Yeah. 6 o'clock Pacific Time. Yep. And 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Yep. Correct. Got it down. All right, buddy. Have a good evening, man. <laughs> See ya. You guys, you get a chance. You're going to want to watch that tomorrow night. Kenny Stewart and, and, and William Bailey. Um, they talk about uh, a lot of things, you know, that, that happened in the past. And uh, it's absolutely very, very cool. You're going to want to check it out. So I appreciate all of you watching tonight. Um, I had a great time. I got to tell you, I, the World Cup was absolutely amazing. 680 some teams there. So that just lets you know the logistics it took to actually run this. Again, I want to thank Mr. Andy Sturrett uh, for putting all of this together, together and inviting me to go down there and to hang out with him and hang out with all these kids. I think it was absolutely terrific. Had a great time. So until next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific time on Facebook, on Flagpole Productions, please, everybody, play hard, play safe, play fair. Get out there and play paintball, huh? All right, guys. Next.